All right, let's graph this rational function. First of all, uh, you'll notice that the degree of the numerator is more than the degree, I'm sorry, the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator. That's the degree of one is the numerator and the degree of two in the denominator, which means the horizontal asymptote is your x-axis, y equals zero. So I'm gonna graph that in red. There's my horizontal asymptote right there. The x-axis is my horizontal asymptote. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to factor the denominator here. Let's see what happens. I have a feeling I'm going to have a hole. And I sure am because when I factor it, notice that these cancel out. And so h of x is really equal to 1 over x minus 1. And 1 over x minus 1 has a vertical asymptote. I'll do this in orange. It has a vertical asymptote at x equals 1, because you're not allowed to plug in 1 for that. You have 0 in the denominator. So at x equals 1, we have a vertical asymptote. That's right here. And um, also there's a hole or a removable discontinuity at 4, comma. Now let's plug 4 back into here for x into our modified equation and we get 1 over 3 4 comma 1 third so that would be 2 3 4 comma 1 third that'd be right about there there's a hole and now all we have to do is figure out where where the graphs what the graphs do we know up here it's going to go like that it's going to approach the asymptote from that side you might want to just do a test point let's just plug in uh, negative 2 into this graph and tell me what we get when I plug in negative 2 for x I'm going to get a negative 1 third for y, for y so a negative 2 negative 1 third is my point which means I just did that to have an idea of which which way this graph is going and I sort of had a feeling it was going to be like that so it's down here which means as, a, as x goes to negative infinity the graph is going to be approaching 0 from the bottom of it also, it's good to just plug in and find your y-intercept. And remember, your y-intercept would be when x equals 0. So plug in 0 right here. Plugging in 0 gets me 1 over negative 1, which is negative 1. So there's my x-intercept right there. And it's going to approach that vertical asymptote as it goes down there. And it's going to approach the vertical asymptote from the right hand side in that fashion. So that's how you graph that rational function. Notice it's just the function, I'll call it g of x equals 1 over x minus 1. It's that graph but with a hole right here and that hole of course as we found before is 4 comma 1 third. That's how you graph the rational function with a removable discontinuity.